In this video, I'm going to be going through and answering one of the most common questions I get is, Andrew, how long does it take to become PMP certified? I'm Andrew Ramdio, and I am the author of this book, PMP Exam Prep Simplified, Amazon's bestseller for the PMP exam. It comes with a bunch of practice questions, tells you everything you need to know, and it comes with a 35-hour class. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to talk about is this, this question of, Andrew, how long does it take to become PMP certified? Now, here's the thing. I could never tell you when to take the exam. I can only tell you what to study, how many hours it takes, and then you're going to answer the when. So we'll cover, technically, I'll answer the when question more towards the end of the video. Let's get started in this. So I've been teaching PMP since 2008 to hundreds of thousands of students that have used the book, the live classes, the e-learning courses, and so on. And uh, I've always told folks the same answer, and it's not going to be different than it was before. Getting your PMP certification requires a massive amount of commitment. Exactly how much? Well, what I tell students is that the PMP requires approximately 60 to 100 hours of study time. That means that in order to get certified, you should be putting in 60 to 100 hours. Now you're probably saying, hey, that's a pretty big range, right? 60 to 100 hours. Yeah, it is a pretty big range because, hey, some of us learn faster. Some of us can study something once and boom, they get it. My son seems to have a talent for just watching and not studying, but he does good on his exams on some subjects. And then some subjects, I see him studying really hard. Me too. I've I taught math was common sense. I never really studied for a math exam. But English made no sense to me, all right? And then history, you have to memorize. So I would have to study those really well. And some people found English to be common sense, not me. English is not common sense, by the way. So what happens is, keep this in mind, 60 to 100 hours. Some of you may only spend 60 hours. Some of you will spend 80 hours. Some of you will spend 100 hours. In my experience, more most people do around 80 hours of study time. Now, how is this broken out? How, do, how is this actually broken out? Well, let's take a look. The first thing up is that in order to qualify to take a PMP exam, you must do a 35-hour class. So that's going to take up 35 hours of this 60 to 100 hours. So 35 hours is going to be a class. Remember, you must take a course in order to apply for your PMP exam. You must do 35 hours of project management education in order to take a PM, in order to take the PMP exam. So 35 hours is right there. The next thing you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be doing about, and I tell students this number can vary, 10 hours, 20 hours. I'm gonna say 20 hours is gonna be for revisions and studying. So what does that mean? So revision and studying to me is going to be as you're going through your 35-hour class, you're just not going to, if you're watching a video course, if you're in a live class, you're just not going to sit there with a bump on a log. So you take a live class with me, you're going to be in my classroom for 35 hours. But after the class ends, you got to go home, you got to rewatch some of the videos, you have to uh, read certain, re read back certain chapters. Once again, when I tell you something, if I told you that a project management plan has all these different components, and here's the components, you're not going to memorize all that. You still have to go memorize a bunch of, I think you should know your formulas. So 20 hours. Now I'm saying it's not just 20 hours. It might go to 30 hours. It might even go down to 10. Depends on how you learn. The next thing that you're going to be studying is not just the 35-hour class and your revisions or reviewing your notes or reviewing the videos is that you are going to be doing practice exams. How many hours? I would say a minimum of 15 hours. 15 hours of exam, practice exam is what you should be doing. Lots and lots of practice exams. Now, what do we mean by this? Well, when your course ends, you finish your revision, there's a bunch of practice questions in the book, get the TIA exam simulator or any simulator. You're gonna have to go through all those questions in those simulators. Those sim like if the TIA exam simulator with all the six mock exams, that'll probably take you about 10 to 12 hours just to finish it. Uh, and then, of course, there's other practice exams that you have in your books and e-learning courses and whatever. 
So this is at a minimum. Now, if we look at this and we add it up, how many hours do we get? Well, 35 plus 15 is 50 hours, plus 20 is 70, all right? So I got 70 hours here alone. This is just bare minimum. Some of you may reduce the revision aspect. Some of you may re reduce the exam aspect. Some of you may increase the revision aspect and the exam aspect. So some of you will spend more time on certain of certain of these three things. Now, with that in mind, you may spend 60 hours studying, once again, or you may spend 80 hours, and this particular one is 70 hours, or you may spend 100 hours. Now, let's erase this. All right, where is this? So this is my new uh, erase board thing here that they gave me to try out today. So this new video, we're trying out this new, instead of me just putting notes on the screen, I prefer to write it. I think people learn better that way. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this method works better or should I have like text on a screen? Put in the screen? Put in the description below. So the question, the next question is, how long does this take? So we know it's 60 to 100 hours. How long does 60 to 100 hours of study time actually take? You see, the answer is going to be how many times, how much you study per day. So let's say for scenario purposes, you're gonna study two hours per day. Two hours per day is equal to 30 days. So you could technically become certified in a month. If you study three hours a day, you can become certified, do the math. Well, 20 days, right? I said 60 hours. If you're gonna be doing an 80 hour, maybe you're not as smart as the entire world, you're not Einstein, you just don't pick everything up once, but you wanna do some revision, maybe you're gonna study for 80 hours. You do four hours a day, that's 20 days. You get the point on this? If you only study for one hour every day, then you know what? It'll take you 60 days at a minimum, 60 to 100 days. Or maybe you study one hour, Monday through Friday, five hours, Monday through Friday, and then you study five hours Saturday and then five hours Sunday. So in total, was that 10, that's 15 hours, you could be certified in about a month. How fast you get certified is dependent on you. How much effort do you put into this? If you put in a fair amount of effort every single day, every single weekend, for about a month, you could be certified in a month. In fact, most of my students are certified generally within 30 days, maximum about 45 days. Because I tell them this, I tell them this is what you guys should be doing. Okay, that is the end of this video. Hopefully you guys found it informative. If you do, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and I'll see you in the next video.